What is up guys? Welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to do a quick tour of my Harbor Freight toolbox or tool cart and then my Craftsman toolbox and maybe I'll talk about these just a little bit. But this is going to be a 2023, January 2023 version. I kind of want to do this video almost for myself just to see how it grows over the year and how things go. I've been avoiding doing this because my cart is not very loaded out but I know there's a lot better carts but I'll show you my philosophy and kind of how I built mine. And we'll just kind of go through. <clears throat> so starting here, my dog has something to say. Say hi to Maverick. Oh, he's saying, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. That's what he's saying. Anyways, so starting on the side, I have the uh, U.S. General uh, paper towel holder. I always use these blue shop towels. I think that they are the best. And I'm trying to tell him no. <laughs> uh, they really work well for cleaning up oil or just getting stuff off your hands. I have a holstery Joey pouch. Um, I have two of these. I use one for work every day, and I just keep one clipped on the side. It's nice to just toss tools you're using a lot in there versus grabbing them in and out of the drawer. Or if you need to grab stuff from in here, throw it in this pouch. That kind of allows you to grab this and kind of grab and go. And that's the same reason I keep that Vito Pro Pack TB4, I believe it is. Um, I don't remember the exact model, but I keep that there with some zip ties. And so if I have to grab hand tools out of the cart, I will throw them in that and I can carry that to whatever I'm going to do. Um, kind of have it slowly sticker bombed. I like to buy stuff from KC Tools, so I get a lot of those stickers and I'm just kind of slowly sticker bombing it. Um, I do have a couple of the Pittsburgh magnetic trays. I just use those for holding bolts and screws. Maybe you can see over there, I've got a whole bunch more of just little cups and things I use for that reason. Um, I also have this magnetic bar here, keeps my extensions, wobble extensions. Um, this one, I don't remember the brand. I wanna say this is Capri. I think these are all Capri. Yeah, so my, I, I get Carlisle and Capri confused. Capri is what I have. So I have Capri extensions, um, the wobble ones. And then I have just these regular Harbor Freight ones, just the chrome ones. Um, I have a Baco 8-inch adjustable just in case I need it quick to grab something. I just keep that there all the time. And I have a torque stick for, it's a half-inch torque stick for 100 foot-pounds. I use that for my Ford Focus uh, lug nuts. And then just like this little uh, extension handle. Um, in here, which I'm now seeing, I'm missing a breaker bar. Oh, I see it's over there. Typically, I have my half-inch breaker bar in that hole set in there. And then this is a ratcheting 3 8 uh, breaker bar. I want to say 18-inch. And I really like that for just breaking stuff loose. It's just handy. It's nice to have that ratcheting feature. And that's a Pittsburgh Harbor Freight version. Um, I have Wera screwdrivers. These are the stainless steel version. So keeps them from getting rusted up, and I don't have to take as good care of them. So I like to use those for the automotive stuff. Um, just kind of a personal preference and I really like the color anyway so I keep my Phillips and square heads on this size obviously it's not something you're using a ton in automotive but the Phillips number two as you can see is well worn the other ones are not as much um, on the other side I keep the slotted ones and those I use a lot they're very handy for you know popping panels or body panels on cars or whatever and also this whole cart just kind of lives more in the center of the shop than the rest of the tools. So they just kind of naturally end up being the grab and go uh, screwdrivers if I need something. But I also have these demolition screwdrivers. So the flathead is the one that gets used a lot, as you can imagine. The Phillips, not as much, but it is a demolition screwdriver nonetheless if you need to beat on something. Apologize, the autofocus is not working so well. I think something's wrong with the iPhone 13 autofocus, but so keep that there. Um, so those are Astwing brand. Then my whole cart here is based off of 3 8 So I have just 3 8 inch drive ratchets, 3 8 inch, 3 8 of an inch drive uh, socket sets. So I have SAE metric. Um, I absolutely love these Wessling uh, socket organizers, but you can't get the three row anymore for SAE. Maybe they've since got them in, but since I last tried, I haven't been able to get them and I really want them. So the second I can get them, I would even overpay for them just because I like them so much and I want it to all be the same. So I have the Capri uh, impact socket set, which I find to be rather thin walled compared to most 
uh, sockets, impact sockets. So I they don't I don't want for anything. So I actually just use those for everything. Um, and you can see the ones that are rusted or have some rust on them from being used more than the others. So that's the metric for the most part. But I do have an SAE set, um, and I just have these cheap Pittsburgh uh, rails that are like copies of the Hanson, I think they're called. And then I have a Precision, Precision something. I don't remember the exact name, but it's like an aluminum rail that I bought off Amazon. So that's what I have the deeps on. I have the mid sizes, and. Uh, shallows and these go from one inch to five sixteenths and these are I cannot remember I want to say 22 mil yep so 22 millimeter I want to say down to six eight so down to eight it's a really good set gets a lot of wide sizes I'm not doing large trucks or anything like that so I don't need any real big uh, fasteners out of this cart I do have half inch drive stuff that lives in that box and that box We'll get to that later but um, and then I do have sorry about the focus um, torques so <clears throat> I don't remember the exact sizes here but I have your just your standard torques in 3 8 inch drive I have all 3 8 inch adapter so 3 8 to quarter 3 8 to like a quarter inch hex that you would have on like a drill driver same with this one this is impact rated these are up to half inch the wobble and then I have just a regular small wobble um, more torque stuff um, and then Allen's SAE and metric keep a pair of gloves I always wear the gloves when I'm gonna be really getting dirty under the car this is just a container I'm not actually sure why the ink saw is in there typically that's like that or sometimes I will or I used to try to remember clip it on like that just grab it quick but that works good too and I do have a magnetic pickup tool back here the extendable ones you guys have all seen those Cheap Pittsburgh extendable ratchet. As you can see, I have put a breaker bar on and, or like a pipe on and mangled the end. Um, I like the composite handle a lot. I think I already did a video on that talking about that. Tecton flex head, 3 8 inch with the quick release, Tecton swivel, and just a Harbor Freight standard ratchet. I would like to get a Tecton or even, I'd love to get like a snap on ratchet just to see how they compare. Um, just the regular standard one that's not a swivel or a flex head would be wonderful. So I haven't opened this drawer. I, I did not do any prep here, so there's not much in here. Um, just like an O-ring pick tool and a right inch, right inch, right angle uh, driver attachment for your drill. That's all that's in there. Just a dead blow. Um, this is a two inch or two pound, I'm sorry, from Walmart. I love this thing, I've used it more than most. Um, on this side, I have my most of my pliers that I use for this type of thing. And I really like, let's see, this is a tool organizer magnetic one, and I, I like this one. I also like this style, if you have the room, the height, that style is nice, that's from Tecton, and I think cheaper than uh, the tool organizer one, but. Needle nose, standard uh, regular pliers, I cannot think, slip joint pliers, um, side cutters, tucked in. I got a pair of Weeha, those are well loved if you can't tell. Um, nice and dirty. Weeha, uh, needle nose, pair of twin grips with the comfort grip on them. This is a Icon pliers wrench, knockoff, real Cobra pliers. Ipex Cobra pliers, uh, Pittsburgh <coughs> um, wire strippers, Ipex bolt cutters, linesman pliers from Tecton. So I, at some point, which I don't really know why, probably just because I like buying tools, but I bought the Tecton set of pliers, and they're actually very good. Um, I would recommend them to somebody that's looking to get into pliers. I don't love the channel lock type pliers, but they're good. And then just some vice grips in the back those are uh, Milwaukee like I said don't be overly expecting much here I have the tucked in uh, SAE and metric French set these are tool organizers I thought I ordered a different setup than I did um, I was hoping that these would like nest into each other the way that it was set up but somehow I messed that up so I have quarter inch up to one inch yep one inch so 
this one the number is on the bottom and the wrench above it is the size and this one's the opposite i think oh no this is the same way so it's eighth of an inch to 22 or i'm sorry eight millimeter to 22 millimeter um just that wrench set this oh you saw my moccasins uh this fabric that comes on the bottom of the uh tool cart sucks it just it's very thin and it doesn't stay very well i should have glued it down or something and then moving all of these is just a pain so i have not um i used to have these long handled flex heads for doing pumps um you can very easy to use those to like break open pumps hvac pumps um industrial you know 25 horse or whatever uh pump flanges those worked really well for that once you've broke them loose those are perfect for just zipping those bolts apart to get the flanges apart um, so I just have them in there to be with my wrenches and then I do have a 3 8 inch electric ratchet from Milwaukee that's an M12 and then the M12 stubby 3 8 inch and I love both of those very much I actually have been keeping this in my car just if I had a wheel problem there it is I have it it's ready to go don't be overly impressed. So if you have suggestions for things I could put in here that aren't going to load it down and does stick with the 3 8 inch theme, let me know and I will probably consider putting it in. Um, down below, I have tucked in quarter inch set. So I just keep this on the bottom, just a quarter inch drive uh, complete set that comes from Tecton. I do like that a lot. Would recommend it to somebody that needs it. Uh, you can see this imprint here because I normally have the Tecton full 3 8 inch drive set in here but I actually have it riding around in my car. During the winter I just like to be really prepared with tools because if you break down you need to be ready to go. Um, just in the back there, cobalt ratcheting wrenches. They, they don't suck. I won't say they suck. They're, I got those for $47. I just don't like that they are the straight ones. Um, eventually when I feel like spending the money I will buy the ones that are flex heads, um, but the, right now I have the straight ones. And then those, I'll just open one of them just to give you a, a little show. These are um, six inch Allen keys. So SAE and metric, or metric and SAE, whatever one is which. And those are three eighths inch drive as well. And I need those a lot for like I don't know, my roof rack is something that comes to mind, working on bicycles, all sorts of things. Really need a lot of Allen keys, so that's what I got. Up top I also have the M12 work light that I do use a lot. I apologize, the autofocus just really sucks on the iPhone. If you know anything about fixing that, let me know. I'm realizing now I didn't talk about my pry bars, but I just have some cheap Pittsburgh pry bars there. I never use them, and they make it so I can't close the lids. So I might end up taking that, that one and this one out. Just never use them. I never need them. Just put them in, you know, another toolbox. Um, ballast all. I use that to keep my tools clean and from rusting. Brake part cleaner, just cheap stuff from Walmart just to clean stuff. Hi, Maverick. Um, WD-40, Chloe, see Chloe knows how to be nice and friendly and just not in the middle of the video, but you on the other hand are just right in the way, yep. Um, torch, you guys know why you need a torch in the shop. Uh, white lithium spray grease and then just glass cleaner, need that most of the time. I pull my car in here, I'll just wipe my windows down real quick. So that is the tool cart. Um, I do like it, I got it from a, as a gift for birthday or Christmas last year for my dad so that was super cool I really enjoyed that um, over here is my craftsman toolbox I did not buy this myself this was my dad's and it's a hand-me-down um, it's an older one he put a wood top on it and he used to use this when he worked in a school as their director of facilities and he would wheel this around and work on stuff so that's why it's got this vice here and I don't use it um, just because it's obviously in a spot where I can't use it, but I do use this just to store old tools and things So we'll just go quick through this. I know this video is running long, but um, I Do have my so when I first got started out my dad bought me one of those big like 500 piece sets from Harbor Freight and these are the sockets that were in it. So quarter inch sockets and I grabbed the uh, tray organizers from uh, Harbor Freight as well 
Um, I do have the metric set still here, but on the other side of the tool cart, which you guys already saw, I have the SAE holder. So that's why these sockets are just sitting here because I had to rob it for that cart. Um, I do have the Bondus T-handle, um, SAE metric, and then Torx, just all the different uh, Allen keys and Torx bits. I have got more of those extensions hanging here, Allen's, more Torx. So that is the top of the box. First drawer is a lot of cutting utensils, um, sheet metal cutters. I really like these long build ones, they're super handy. Um, I always keep silica packets in my tool drawers, it helps with rust. These were already rusty, just so you know. Um, snipping tools, a lot of just extra scissors and things. And this is just kind of a dump for extra tools that I don't know where I'm going to put yet. Next drawer down, um, kind of a screwdriver jump, dump drawer. I have a lot of terminal screwdrivers just because of my job. I work with HVAC, HVAC automation, so I have a ton of control type screwdrivers, um, you know, precision screwdrivers. So all those extras, and I just grab those. If I break one at work, I can just reach in here and grab some multi-bit screwdrivers, nothing super fancy. I have to keep clicking to get my phone to focus, so I apologize if anything's a little blurry. Um, extra picks from Harbor Freight. They're like a dollar or two dollars, so I just have a couple. This I had to buy special. This is a, I'm going to butcher this, JIS screwdriver. Um, basically like a Phillips number two, but it's slightly different, and I use this for my motorcycle. I have a Yamaha motorcycle, Japanese motorci motorcycle, so... Um, there's that. I got another one of those tool organizers, uh, pliers, holders. This is just kind of like miscellaneous pliers. This is a snap ring plier set from Work Pro. It's actually very good. I did a video on that when I first started doing YouTube videos. I like it. It works well. More silica packets. And then just like miscellaneous extra tools. Um, kind of sad looking, but that more extra sockets um, 3 8 inch drive sockets some quarter inch drive stuff extra ratchets so I reach in here if I need quarter inch drive or whatever this is kind of my bit drawer so just Forsner bits cheap Harbor Freight bits these are spade bits more Harbor Freight bits hole saws um, quarter inch drive or quarter inch hex driver bits, long drill bits, just kind of any drill bit, that's where it ends up. This was an electrical drawer. I have since robbed it as I'm changing my system. So like I said, this this video is like, uh, we're in the middle of changing everything. So I'm just kind of showing off these toolboxes and it'll be cool to look back and see how they've updated and grown as the years go on. But I just have uh, Cat6 crimper, Jeez, this autofocus is just trash. Um, punch down tool, jump, multimeter jumper leads. Leads, not jumpers. Um, jumpers, alligator clip jumpers. Uh, this is almost all oil changing stuff or, you know, chain wrench. That, I don't know if that's what that's called, and I just said that with so much confidence. I can't think of what that's called. But strap wrenches, oil filter wrenches, and then the sockets that are for them kind of pry tools. These are rim protectors for motorcycle tires. Um, those are were really nice and then I mangled them. Those are uh, Motion Pro. And I just got the tire irons from Harbor Freight. Um, some chisels. This is a bunch of punches and whatnot. Cold chisels. More Motion Pro bead breakers. <coughs> pry bar. Down here is just miscellaneous stuff, pipe cutter. So down here is kind of the light drawer, just extra lights that I don't have a spot I always use them for, but this is my, one of my favorite lights. This is an awesome work light, um, puts out a nice radial light, and it runs off M18 batteries, or you can plug it in. I used that for like three months when I was working on the lighting in my house. That was all my light source in my living room and like main living area. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Because I had to all get re drywalled and I redid, reconfigured all the lights and punched in new light spots and everything. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I really like that and that's why it's covered in paint. Just extra lights. I, 
It's almost like discovering treasure. I don't even know what half this is. This is going to be a hammer drawer. I think I then robbed most of the hammers out of here to put somewhere else. A um, lot of Allen keys. Just a bunch of Allen keys and torques. Um, all the Allen keys you get when you buy furniture and everything, I just put them in that. <coughs> More Allen keys. Oh, these are the long reach ones, so I've got the right standard length and then the long reach ones. You can't put as much torque on these because that shaft will twist, but just some extra wrenches. This was a bunch of scraping and putty and prying tools. Um, I actually really like these Quinn ones, except for they rattle, and I hate rattling tools. So I don't know if you can hear that, but it just rattles. Something's loose in there, and all of them do it, and it just drives me nuts. But they're cheap, so what can you expect? And then this is kind of like an electrical drawer. I got a couple extra multimeters. I think that is a light detector. Um, this is a ferrule puncher. It kind of looks like the Nipex one. It's not exactly the same. Uh, bore scope type deal. Pretty cool. So that is that. That's the Craftsman toolbox. Um, I'll just quickly touch on this over here. So this is like a plumbing kit I have. All designated tools for whenever I need to do plumbing work. I just grab this and have pretty much everything I need. Um, I'm going to make this better. I haven't finalized this, but it's mostly everything I need. And I haven't had to do any plumbing to really test it out lately. But I do have a lot of stuff in there just for plumbing specifically. Next one up, kind of the carpentry uh, shelf, which is cool. So I have this set up just for doing mostly carpentry stuff, which like finished, or finished carpentry. So I have my um, Occidental leather tool belt, which you guys have seen. And then I have this for finished carpentry. So that, that I use for framing and then this for finish. So I've been using this every time I work on the trim in my house, which is still not done two years later. <laughs> And this is my main electrical bag. This is the one I'm the proudest of, and this is the one I've done a video on. But that's my residential electric stuff. So all the things I'm doing that's electrical in the house, or, you know, I need to help somebody else out, that's what I grab. This is my beginning of a portable tool, do-all toolkit, so it will be able to do mostly everything, kind of smaller stuff. But we're going to dive into that in a video at some point. And this is kind of a catch-all for tools that I'm not sure what, where I want to use them yet, but I, they're tools I like, so I want to use them. But that's it. That's kind of the Toolbox Tour 2023. Um, let me know what you guys think. Give me recommendations for what I should load this cart out with. And those are all appreciated. Say goodbye to the dogs laying in my Granberg saw, uh, or Granberg mini mill cuttings, just chewing on little sticks. Anyways, subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. See you guys in the next video.